Howdy, AdWords fans. Welcome back to our second section in understanding keyword match types in Google AdWords. Uh, we're going to talk about phrase match. A phrase match, like we saw right before, is a keyword enclosed in parentheses. So in order to activate phrase match, you need to know that the phrase or keyword needs to be in parentheses. So we use parentheses to make sure your ad only appears for searches containing your exact keyword and close variance, we'll talk about that in a second, with additional words or phrases before or after your keyword. Um, that's an important thing to remember when it comes to phrase match. Just because you enclose your keyword in parentheses does not mean that it's an exact match, that only queries that match your keyword can trigger an ad, but, it's key, but it has to match your keyword, and it could also include words and phrases before or after your keyword. So because of that, phrase match could still generate a lot of bad clicks or irrelevant queries. Um, and negative keywords as a result are still a must. So you feel oftentimes that phrase match is really tight, it's really exact, it's, it's, it's a step up from broad match modified. Um, and how is it a step up from broad match modified? Because broad match modified makes sure that all my modified terms are included in the query to be eligible to show my ad, but it doesn't have to be in that order, like we just saw in the previous video. Phrase match takes that a step further by saying, anything enclosed in the parentheses, anything inside the parentheses needs to be in the keyword in that order. So it's very straightforward, phrase. I make a parentheses, that's my phrase. That phrase has to match inside the query, but it could include a lot of other words before and after. So that's why just because you're using phrase match keywords does not mean it doesn't give you a free pass to not create good negative keyword lists. So negative keyword lists are a must, um, even in phrase match. And here we have in blue, um, query must include your entire keyword in the correct order, unlike broad match modified, and that's something that we just said. So phrase match is a really good thing to use when you have a good understanding of your customers. You know how people are searching for your products, and you're gonna be a more thoughtful advertiser by targeting specific long tail keywords, specific phrases, it's a great thing to do, and you're gonna be able to use those phrases in the ad itself. And the nice thing about phrase match is when you get a user's phrase, exactly matched up with the query, when a user's query matches up your keyword rather, that will be bolded in the ad text. So if you also include the keyword in the ad text, it'll get uh, it'll be bolded. So that's a really good um, pro of using phrase match. Another great um, benefit of using phrase, ma phrase match is that it increases your CTR, you get a higher click-through rate. Because you're targeting people looking for, ver for very specific things and because you you know that those people are searching for your products in that specific way, we could be sure that our ad text and our ads will be very appealing to that person. And in general, in general, it's not a rule, but in general, we're gonna see higher CTRs for phrase match keywords. And as a result, we also know you get a higher quality score. Um, so those are some of the really good benefits of using phrase match. Now let's take a look at some examples here. So in example one, we have the keyword in my account is leather desk chair. And as you can see, it's a phrase match keyword. How do I know it's phrase match? Because it's enclosed in parentheses. That's how we know it's phrase match, right? We have our parentheses here and here, and anything inside is now gonna be my phrase match keyword. So it, your ad might show on searches for buy leather desk chair online, because here, leather desk chair, that is my keyword. So my keyword is containing is contained in the query in the correct order. And the word buy is, append, is, is prepended and online is appended. And that's totally fine. That's, um, this actually would be a good keyword. And if we see a lot of people are searching for this entire query, buy leather desk chairs online, then you know that might be a, if, you know, that might be a really good indication that we should add buy leather desk chairs online as its own phrase match keyword. But, you know, I don't have that data yet. So we're just going to start off with a leather desk chair. And that's something my ad might show up for. My ad will not show for buy leather chairs online. Why won't my ad show for buy leather chairs online? Because my phrase matched keyword is leather desk chair. And while we have leather and while we have chair, we're missing right here the word desk. So because I don't have the word desk right there, 
buy leather chairs online is not eligible um, to trigger my ad. And that's something that you really need to, you need to think about very carefully when doing your, your phrase matched. You're gonna inevitably knock out some potentially very, very good keywords. So buy leather chairs online, that might be a good keyword for your business. You know, we're advertising for Poppin, and this might be a good way to pick up some customers just because they didn't put in the word desk. Um, it still might be a good keyword. So be careful. If you, you don't want to only use phrase match in most in most situations because you're going to end up knocking out potentially good keywords if they don't include your exact phrase and you'll be limiting yourself um, with volume. So that's why it's always good and always important. Keep in mind to use multiple types of keyword match types. You don't want to limit your account to just one type of keyword match type unless you're on an extremely, extremely tight budget and you're in a very crowded space. If that's the case, then you want to limit yourself. You want to be only targeting the best um, most ideal, most bottom of the funnel keywords, and in that case, you'll probably use mainly exact match, which we'll talk about um, shortly. Another example, office accessories. For example, that's my phrase match keyword, images of office office accessories, because here we have, we have office accessories right here. That's my phrase match keyword showing up in the query, and it's okay to have additional words and phrases prepended like images of. So that's another example of an of a query that might trigger my ad. So we want to be careful there. Um, my ads will not show for accessories office. People search in lots of different ways and, and you know people looking for office accessories, they might type in accessories office. So this is the type of situation where you might want to also have a variation of this phrase match as a broad match modified plus office space plus accessories. And that way this keyword here, accessories office, will be eligible under the match type of broad match modified, but it will not be under it will not be eligible under um, phrase match. So you have to be very, very careful, once again, about knocking out potentially good keywords. Another example, extra padded chairs, that's my phrase match keyword. Extra padded chairs for free is eligible to show my ad because we have our keyword, our entire keyword in the correct order is contained extra padded chairs and for free is Appended, and that's okay because phrase match allows for additional elements of the query to be appended or prepended to the phrase. So just keep that in mind. Our ads will not show for padded chairs with extra padding, even though that sounds really similar to my keyword padded chairs with extra padding. I have all my individual words in there padded chairs, I have extra, but it's not in that order. My order is extra padded chairs, and this is extra padded chairs with extra padding, and it is not eligible. And once again, this is another situation of a phrase match, keyword match type, potentially knocking out what would have been a good keyword. So as we see from these examples, phrase match is great, it's powerful, it's a way to tighten yourself up, but you see that it doesn't, um, it won't suffice on its own because we see here, you might be knocking out a good keyword. Over here, we might be knocking out a, go a good keyword. And over here, in the eligible ads, we might be getting some bad keyword. We don't want images and we don't want for free. So we see that it doesn't um, relieve us of our obligation to add negative keywords. And it also should not be something that you solely rely on. So phrase match shouldn't be solely relied upon. Um, but at the same time, it also um, maintains the requirement and the necessity for negative keywords. And on top of that, it's a very powerful type of match type. It's a very, very good tool to use to really um, increase the effectiveness and the efficiency of your campaigns. And it's gonna help you hone in, narrow your budget to the most ideal types of people. And keep in mind, phrase match keywords are usually more expensive, and we spoke about um, more expensive clicks and that being okay because the ad advertisers who are bidding on these phrase match keywords that you're also bidding on also realize that they're bringing in better customers. So phrase match keywords will generally bring in better customers than a broad match keyword because the searches that you're getting clicks for or are usually and hopefully more relevant to your product and service. Um, it's above broad match and broad match modified and it's, it's a step beneath the precision and the control of exact match. So let's talk about exact match um, and we will discuss the pros and cons of using exact match and how to use them tactfully in your own campaigns. The exact match keyword match type is the most precise and the most controlled type of match type uh, Google AdWords offers and it 
totally eliminates the need for negative keywords for exact match keywords. Keep that in mind. When I say exact match keywords eliminates the need for negative keywords, that's specifically referring to the exact match keywords you have in your account. So if you have an account that has some exact match keywords and some phrase match keywords and some broad match modified keywords and some broad match keywords, as you should, you should use a mixture of all those keyword match types, then you obviously, of course, need to have negative keywords because you're not only using exact match keywords. You don't need negative keywords to counterbalance or control exact match keywords. That's what I am talking about. So you exact match keywords use brackets, these brackets right here, um, to ensure your ad will only show for queries containing your exact keyword without any additional words or phrases appended or prepended. That's the distinguishing factor of exact match over phrase match. It really, really controls exactly um, what keywords and what, what queries your ad is eligible to show for. So negative keywords are not needed to supplement exact match and exact match generates the highest CTRs and CPCs. Um, you'll be getting very familiar with these acronyms. CTR, of course, stands for click-through rate, and CPC, of course, stands for cost per click. And they, those two things go for hand in hand. If, it, if a keyword gets a higher CTR, which means the, the ratio of people searching and clicking your ad is higher, that generally means it's a good keyword and other advertisers are also gonna bid more aggressively on it. So as CTR goes up, you will usually see a positive relationship and CPCs will go up as well um, because the market's realizing that these are really good keywords bringing in high quality traffic and it's worth paying more for them. So once again, don't be scared off by high CPCs. It's not a bad thing. In fact, higher cost per click is usually a good thing. Um, so you generate higher CTRs with exact match, higher CPCs, but you're getting the best traffic. But also keep in mind, because you're controlling exactly what queries will trigger your ad with such precision, you're also cutting out the greatest amount of potentially good keywords. So exact match doesn't allow for learning, it doesn't allow for exploration, it doesn't allow for generating new ideas of keywords. Broad match modified, broad match, phrase match, those are all keywords that will waste some money because you're gonna get some bad clicks, but they're also keywords that are gonna teach you additional insights into how your target audience is searching and looking for your products and services. Exact match will not do that. Exact match will not give you new ideas. It will not teach you um, about the rhetoric and the jargon and, and the vernacular that a certain industry uses to look for certain products and services. It's very, very specific to just the research that you've done. So exact match is a great idea when A, you know exactly how people search for your product and services or B, and or B, you've generated a lot of data, you've, you've been spending money on broad match, broad match modified and phrase match keywords, and you've gotten some really good ideas from your query report, which we're gonna talk about soon, we're gonna run a query report soon, and you'll get a great sense of exactly how, um, you'll, you'll, you've gotten a good sense from the query report, some, some good ideas that you could add as negative keywords that you didn't think of initially when you created your account, and you could use the query report to continuously expand your exact match keyword list. Keep that in mind. We're going to be using the this is, this is one of the core fundamental concepts in AdWords, using the query list to expand our exact match keywords. So that's the concepts behind exact match. Let's take a look here, down here at a couple examples. So we have um, leather desk chair. Let's say that's my exact match keyword. As I can see, it's contained in brackets, and my ads make sure for leather desk chairs and if you notice here the s is plural um but that's that's really okay there's no way anymore it used to be that um slight misspellings and pluralizations were able to be controlled but adwords took that feature away and we are only able to control for actual words knock out synonyms and make sure that there's nothing else appended or prepended um, so we could show up for leather desk chairs but we won't show up for buy leather desk chairs if our keyword is leather desk chairs exact the word buy here is prepended to my keyword and i am out of the running same thing here office accessories here's my ex exact match keyword i know it's exact match once again of the brackets um, here is a potential ad office accessories that is my exact keyword with nothing changed and my ad will not show my, my ads will not show 
for office accessories for sale online. Keep in mind, once again, we're knocking out some good keywords. So, you know, this would have been a good keyword. This would have been a good keyword, but because we're using um, phrase match, I, I'm sorry, because we're using exact match, we're knocking those keywords out of the running, um, which is just an illustration of the concept we would, we know we kind of just touched upon. Extra padded chairs, that's another keyword. Um, I, I loaded it into my account with exact match by surrounding it in brackets. I might have an ad show for extra padded chair um, without the S, because it's a singular version of my plural keyword, um, but that's okay. That's exactly what is um, eligible in exact match, pluralizations and, and slight variations of the spelling. Um, but I won't show for high quality extra padded chair. And once again, you know, that's a good search. So, you know, high quality extra padded chair is a great search. Um, office accessories for sale online, it's a great search. Buy leather desk chairs is a great search. And I might have those variations as other exact match keywords, which would be a good idea. Um, and I might have them as phrase match. But just for these specific keywords, this group over here will not be eligible to show for this specific group of exact match keywords. Um, we'll talk about how to add hundreds and thousands of, of, of exact match variations. So you're going to make sure that this is also added as an exact match. This is also added as, as an exact match. And this one is also added as an exact match. And we'll talk about the benefits of why we would take the time to do that um, in future chapters. So this is excellent progress. We've covered broad match, broad match modified, phrase match, exact match. Uh, we've spoke about negative keyword match types using the negative sign. And now that we understand what they do and how they operate, let's really dive into an actual account, continue building our account, and um, let's spend a lot more time going through some more advanced topics, looking at actual live accounts, and getting a real, real good feel for the AdWords dashboard. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you very soon in the next video.